Hi guys, this is Ricky and I am loving iNav 3.0 and my new radio. So, one of the things that I did on my little radio is I added this little push button because I'm so used to my Spectrum radio. And the other thing is because I can now run Crossfire, I can get the full telemetry and this iNav Lua script is amazing. It shows me a bunch of information plus it's got the artificial horizon. I think that's really cool. But what I'm going to talk about today is I programmed my six buttons up here to change my VTX power. I know there's some videos of people doing with just a single three position switch, but I wanted to utilize these. So if I push button number three, VTX. 25 milliwatts. It goes to 25 milliwatts and then... VTX, 200 milliwatts. 200. VTX, 400 milliwatts. And then finally... VTX, 600 milliwatts. Okay, let me load up the iNav menu screen so we can kind of see what's going on. All right, inside of the menu, if I go down to features and then over to VTX, you can see that I'm currently at 600 milliwatts. But if I push number three on my transmitter, VTX, 25 milliwatts. you can see how it changed to 25. And then if I do the VTX, next one, 200 milliwatts. 200 milliwatts. And then, of course, VTX, 400. 400 milliwatts. VTX, 600 milliwatts. And then 600. So I think that's really neat. Um, let's jump into iNav so we can kind of see how we did it. All right, I have iNav 3.0 opened up. Let's see what kind of programming I had to do. So to do this, click on the programming tab over on the left. And here are the logic conditions that I had to do. Now, it looks like there's a lot. And this is what I tried to wrap my head around. Initially, if I go over to the receiver tab, channel 10, I have linked to my six buttons on my radio. So if it's all the way to the left, it's about a thousand. And then if I click on number two and then number three and then number four, five and six, it works its way all the way up. So the first thing that I tried to do is, for example, if I'm on channel five, I'm at 1806. That's exactly where it is. So in the programming tab, I started off with making this equal and I set it to exactly 1806. And then I thought, man, sometimes if I calibrate the sticks, that's not going to be exact. So what I needed to do was set up similar to how we have our modes set up so that you have a little a cushion. So you can go from here and any anywhere within here, it's going to activate that mode. So how I accomplished this, and there may be an easier way. If there is, please leave a comment below. Um, I set it up so that channel one, the, the, or the first one I click on, if it's anywhere in between 1385 and 1415, so 1385 and 1415, so that's this one right here. Both of these have to have the condition met for logic condition zero to be, I said, it has to be this one and this one and set the VTX power level to one only when logic zero is met. So currently I have button three pressed on my transmitter. I see all three dots here in a second. I'm going to push button number four and it's going to um, be this next condition. And what you'll notice is all three of these will light up. And the uh, VTX set power level, this one will light up just for a second. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So when I push this, see how it lit up just for a second? So it sent the signal to the transmitter. All three of these are done. If I push number five, the same thing that happens here. All these will light up. This one will light up for just a second. And then the same thing for number six. You see how it lights up just for a second. And that is how I programmed my six position switch. I set it up so that I have some leeway. And as long as the channel 10 
is in between these two values, this condition lights up. And if this condition lights up, then it's going to adjust my VTX power level. I hope that helps. Maybe it would be easier if there was uh, equal to and I could have a little bit of leeway over here. So maybe, uh, I don't know, plus or minus 15, but I couldn't find one.